The question today is about gradients and equations of a straight line and the question reads a straight line L1 has its x intercept and y intercept as negative 6 and 4 respectively. Then part A write its equation in the form ax plus by plus c0 where a, b and c are integers then part B another line L2 which is parallel to L1 in A above passes through 2 comma 3k and negative k comma 8 then find the value of k but c find the equation of the perpendicular bisector to the line l1 then finally d calculate the angle which l1 makes with the x-axis so right to the first part we are to write the equation in the form ax plus by plus c0 so equation of line 1 so first given that the x-intercepts and y-intercepts are negative 6 and 4 as shown then we need to recall that the equation of a straight line can also be written in the double intercept form and that is x over a plus y over b and that is 1 where a is the x-intercept and b is the y-intercept. So for this particular case, according to the equation, a is negative 6 and b is 4. So we have x-intercept and y-intercept are negative 6 and 4 respectively. So substituting the values in this equation, we'll have x over negative 6 plus y over 4 is equal to 1 and then this is just negative x over 6 plus y over 4 is 1 multiplying all through by the LCM which is 2 or rather 12 we will have negative 2x plus 3y is equal to 12 so this should give us so we have 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 12. Remember, we are required to leave our answer in this form, ax plus by plus c0. So the value to the right-hand side will be brought to the left-hand side so that we have 2x minus 3y plus 12 is 0. And thus, we have written the equation in the form required. Next, for part B, another line L2, sorry, which is parallel to L1 in A above, passes through 2, 3k and negative k, 8, and then you're asked to find the value of k. So here, we are given the two points, 2, 3k and negative k, 8 and we are told that the line is parallel to line 1 and therefore its gradient should be equivalent to the gradient of line 1 which we do not know for this particular case so we first begin by determining the gradient of line 1 so the equation of line 1 is given as 2x minus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0. And the first thing is to express this equation here in the form y is equal to mx plus c. And what you are interested in here is the value of m, which is the gradient of that line. So this will be 3y is equal to 2x plus 12. And therefore dividing all through by 3, we'll have y is equal to 2 over 3x plus 4. So that means that m is 2 over 3. And therefore, the gradient of the line in question is 2 thirds. So what we'll do next is to take these two points and use them in the equation for gradient. 
and that is given us so we have gradient is equal to change in y over change in x that is 8 minus 3k all over change in x that is negative k minus 2 so cross multiplying we will have this by 8 that is 24 minus 9k is equal to negative 2k minus 4 so having negative k or rather negative 9k crossing and negative 4 also crossing so we'll have 28 is equal to 7k dividing both sides by 7 this implies that k is equal to 4 next for part c we have to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of line 1 so the first thing we need to note is that the line was as follows so the y-intercept we had as 4 and the x-intercept was negative 6 so that the coordinates of this point is 0, 4 and at this point we have negative 6, 0 and we have the perpendicular bisector of the line as shown so it needs to meet it at M which is the midpoint so we need to know the coordinates of the midpoint so that will obtain as follows so M is so the value of X for this point negative 6 plus the value of X here which is negative 6 plus 0 divided by 2 so we get the average and then for the Y's we have 0 and 4 0 plus 4 divide by 2 so m is negative 3 comma 2 so with this point here together with the gradient so remember the gradient of the line m is obtained as m by the gradient of line 1 should be equivalent to negative 1 because they are perpendicular to each other so the gradient of line 1 we already know we had obtained it earlier on so m is 2 over 3 and for this case m was m1 so the gradient of line 1 is 2 over 3 so we'll say m by 2 over 3 is negative 1 this implies that m is negative 3 over 2 so with this we therefore have point m as negative 3 2 and the gradient of the line as negative 3 over 2 and together with an arbitrary point x y will therefore say change in y over change in x that is y minus 2 over x minus negative 3 that is plus 3 is equal to negative 3 over 2 now cross multiplying we will have 2y minus 4 is equal to negative 3x minus 9 and therefore we will have 2y plus 3x so negative 3x will cross and negative 4 will also cross to the other side and that should be 4 minus 9 so that we have negative 5 and finally for part d Calculate the angle which line 1 makes with the x-axis. So we have the diagram as shown again. So line 1, so at this point we have the y-intercept was 4 and the x-intercept is negative 6. Therefore the angle that the line makes with the x-axis, let's call it theta, that is what we need. So this angle here, remember this angle here is 90, so we obtain the angle theta by simply saying opposite over adjacent, but the opposite side is just change in y, that is from the origin to the y-intercept, and also the adjacent here is change in x, 
which is from the origin to the x-intercept. So we'll say tan theta is equal to opposite, which is change in y, over adjacent, which is change in x, and change in y over change in x is just the gradient, so we'll get the gradient of line 1, and the gradient of line 1 we already know is 2 thirds. As we had determined earlier on, 2 over 3. So that means for us to get theta, we get the tangent inverse of 2 thirds. And that is 33.69 degrees. So that is it for this question. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.